What's up guys and welcome back to another reaction video. Today we are hopping into the sixth episode of the second season of Smallville, Redux. Uh, last episode was Nocturne. It was probably the first dud of the season, which is saying a lot because the first four episodes were really, really, really good. So you can't win them all on this guy who like turned into a beast in sunlight, was like writing love letters to Lana because everybody seems to love Lana. And um... So, like, she starts to want, wants to help him, and then Clark and, and Pete realize that he is being, like, kept in a cellar and, and everything else. Um, Martha got a job with working for Lionel, so that'll be interesting. Uh, uh, Jonathan is not too happy about that either. Um, yeah, I mean, like, not a whole lot, really a lot happened. Um, <sighs> I mean, Clark and Lana made up, I guess, would be the biggest thing. I would have liked if they would have kept her being angry at Clark a little bit longer than in episode because what he did in Red was so unforgivable. Like, oh my god. I would have liked her to be mad a little bit longer, a couple more episodes, maybe like an episode or two longer because um, that is way more realistic, but... This is this is Smallville. Like people get over things really quickly. Um, so yeah, so we are about to get into the next episode. If you want to see my full reaction, head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description, or you can hang out right here, whichever one you want to do. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So here we go. We have the sixth episode of the second season of Smallville Redux. Let's go. Yeah, that's not the same pool from um, Nicodemus. That's totally different. Much bigger pool. Uh huh. Sure. No, y'all. Are they? That is not how you start. So I was a swimmer for ten years. So this is making me cringe. Their form is so bad. You're, uh, um, there's so much wrong about this. Super speed. What the hell? Is he dead? Three months? How are they in so much debt? Hasn't the farm been in the family for generations? And they're not paying anybody to work on the farm because of Clark. They should be saving a lot of money. And Lionel has got to be paying her a pretty decent wage, right? I don't understand how they're in this much debt. They don't know how they're gonna get their feed. What? Maybe it's all the, the Kent you know, trucks. You gotta, you gotta keep fixing those and their insurance is astronomical. Maybe that's it. Maybe we talk to my oh, we're gonna meet Papa Kent? Why is it whenever anyone mentions granddad, suddenly everyone becomes quiet and uncomfortable? Don't you think it's weird I've never even met the guy? What? Look, oh, come on. So Didn't you meet your own grandfather? Much bad blood. There's a lot, apparently. But these photos of my mom and some guy. Ooh. They were taken when my parents were already married. Oh, come on, Clark. That is not just friend material right there, buddy. Eggs. Wait, what? How? Oh, yeah, I can. What? You have super speed, dude. How are you always late? Good first impression, Clark. Uh, of course you know him. Ow! Okay. Yes. Oh, people never gave him a chance, did they? Oh, this music is so dating this episode. She just seems a little bit too perky. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Well, that's not awkward. Yeah, come on, man. You raised an independent daughter, and you're angry because that's what you got. And here you are, 20 years later, going behind your husband's back, asking me for money. This is your grandfather. Hey, Gramps, what's up? This isn't awkward. Why are you still with us? 
Yeah, he's not going to. That would be a very good idea. How about dinner? One meal as a family. I'm sorry. Sucks. There's a lot of bad blood here. What happened? It was so bad. Mother and I decided to get married. I went down to his office asking for her hand. He lost it. He tried to shove me out of his office. I hit him. <laughs> Sounds about right. In 20 years. Wow. Talk about able to hold a grudge. All right, do a little, little snooping, figure out what happened. I think you're a slacker. Quit the football team before you played the first game. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't look good. How do you know Lex Luthor? That's how he judges you. Person is judged by the company they keep. In my experience, Lex Luthor doesn't have friends. Helping people is a noble aspiration. It's also rather vague. You got to be five years from now. Tell the truth, I'm not really sure, but I hope you focus. Want you write a five-page essay? Where are you going to be five years from now? Five pages? That's a lot. Why are you doing this to me? This isn't punishment. Consider it a challenge. Yeah, he's just trying to help you stay focused and figure out your future. But we all know what that is. Who cares about the future? Well, I'd like to think that there's life after high school. Oh, she's old. Hey, Reynolds wants to know where you see yourself five years from now. It made me do the same assignment when I was at Excelsior. I had a major chip on my shoulder. Yeah. But Reynolds thought through it, challenged me to own up to my own actions, not just to assume the mantle of the spoiled rich kid. He was tough but fair and I liked him. It's true, yeah, like, the principal's not doing anything bad right now. Hey guys, sorry, um, I'm having some recording issues, so I think we're still good. Um, I had to adjust some things, but, uh, I think we're good to go now. So hopefully we can get through the rest of this episode without any, um, more recording issues. So you about to die. Ew, that's messed up. Ooh, she like sucks the life out of him, I guess. He's not gonna take it. Well, damn, man. They're great. Oh. Why do you think it's gonna go, Clark? Right? That was a weird town. I saw Russell with Chrissy at the talent. Troy was with it just before he went geriatric. Not exactly a smoking gun. With the look, I want to thank you. You pushed me. And in hindsight, I appreciate that. Now, why do you think I want anything in return? Because you're Lex Luthor. I've learned there's always a price when dealing with the Luthers. I want you to stop turning your antagonism towards me against Clark Kent. I hope I'm not interrupting. Yeah, I'm just walking my barn. It's fine. Don't call or anything. I asked Lex to look into those photos of my mother. Badly as I want the truth, I'm afraid I won't like what I find. They gotta want to, Clark. I don't want our relationship to end before it ever had a chance to begin. Okay, good enough. Do that if you want. We're more than old arguments and overdue bills. I'd like you to give this to your mother. Yeah, she is, Jeff. She can use it now, a year from now. Why don't you give it to her yourself? Well, I don't understand how a man who hasn't seen his family in 20 years can just walk away. He's been gone. I've been making an effort to get to know the students and the parents. He's and very overzealous. She's feeding off their youth to say eternally young. Yeah. She's the Peter Pan complex to a whole new level. Because he's gonna need another victim. I'll call the police. <laughs> Clark, these are the best years of anyone's life. That's really sad if that's true. Ow! Oh. Yeah, Clark. You need help. I need help. Oh, God. That's gross. Oh! Okay. Was weird. He said he tried to get involved in my life after the adoption. Why wouldn't you let him see me? When you were a little boy, you couldn't control your abilities like you can now. Yeah, that makes sense. Us, I think he might have found out your secret. So he's not a part of my life because of me? No. It's not every young man wants to have a relationship with his grandpa. But in your case, it just may not be possible. According to court papers, my parents filed for divorce in 1985. But they were legally separated for over a year. The guy in the picture with your mother could be more than a friend. I was born right after my parents got back together. 
Your dad's still out there, girl. Truth is coming out. All right, well, that was Redux. Go ahead and we'll talk about it. Well, that was the sixth episode of the second season of Smallville Redux. I do apologize in the middle with all the technical difficulties and things. Um, I had some recording issues and then my internet went down and it was a whole to do, but obviously I fixed it and finished the episode, so we're all good now. Um, Redux was not very good, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it was very boring. The ending was very anticlimactic. Uh, we have a cheerleader who sucked life out of people and whatever. I just, not, it was not a good episode. Not a good villain. Um, there was a lot of plot in this. Like you had like four stories going on. Like you had the freak of the week. You had Lana figuring out that her dad's alive. So that was a huge development. Um, so we'll see where that takes us. So that storyline I actually kind of forgot about as part of season two. Um, I just remember Clark figuring out his past and figuring out who he is. I totally forgot about um, her dad. And now I remember his name is Henry Small. So now that all came back to me when she started looking at the photos. Um, and then, of course, we have the new principal telling, you know, asking Clark to do um, you know, an, an essay about where he's going to be in five years, and then Lex, you know, knowing his prince, the old principal, and I don't know, it just all was a lot, and then we also had, um, Martha's dad coming, and you see all of the, um, bad past, I guess, I guess the theme of this was just the past coming, coming back, and all the secrets of the past, I guess, um, I don't know, it was not a good episode, and that's all I'm going to say. It's was, it was very boring, very anticlimactic. It was just, ugh, like, I don't know, it was not good at all. Um, so, honestly, I mean, it's just, like, it's probably my lowest one. Even from season one. So, I mean, it's a, I would say a six out of ten. Like, it was just not a good episode. So, uh, now I'm really mad. Well, I guess if we're going to have technical difficulties, do it during this one when... You know, it's not a good episode at all. So we'll do 6 out of 10. Um, and we do have two new um, tallies. We have a, uh, a person of color character as uh, the principal. And we also have a Klana ending scene. So we'll do... So the Klana ending scene is now up to 11 on the tally board. And the person of color character is up to 6. So, um, that was Redux. If you want to see my full reaction, head on over to my Patreon page. If, if not, stay right here. That's cool. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode.